Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King. Everyone loves him. He's probably the most popular dinosaur in the world. And why not? He's two stories tall. He weighs seven tons and he has bone crushing jaws. The one thing T-Rex doesn't seem to have going for him is brawny arms. And for generations, people have thought that's a matter of evolution. He had musculature. He had an amazing sense of smell. He had the ability to run at quick speeds and short distances. He could catch his prey or he could smell prey that was already dead. He didn't need arms. And that seemed to be set theory until they found a new dinosaur in China. And his name was Raptor Rex. Raptor Rex was discovered in China and sold to a private collector in the United States. But the private collector wanted to know more about his dinosaur. So he took it to a paleontologist in Chicago named Paul Serino, one of the best of the best. And Paul Serino studied the fossil and determined it was a brand new species. It wasn't two stories, it was only eight feet tall. Didn't weigh seven tons, weighed 180 pounds. But Raptor Rex was 60 million years older than T-Rex. Does that mean T-Rex did not evolve small arms? That he had small arms all along? Paul Serino says yes. But he's not the only paleontologist looking at Raptor Rex. Another team headed up by Jack Horner, Dr. Jack Horner of the University of Montana. He believes, no, it's not a new species. It's a baby. Baby Tarbosaurus. And Tarbosaurus is essentially the T-Rex of China. So, they don't agree. But even if they don't agree, it's a remarkable dinosaur find. Because it gives us more information about baby Tarbosaurus. Or it's a brand new raptor that says those tiny arms didn't evolve into tiny arms at all. And it just proves it's not how big your arms are. That's how you use them.